Hello, friends. Hope you're doing amazing today. Jesus is Lord, and he is bringing us constantly into his victory. Today, we're going to talk about trusting in God, bringing clarity. This is the results of trusting in the Lord and learning of him. Today, I'm going to be looking at my notes. So if I look down, that's what I'm doing so I can stay on course. All right. Today, we serve a God that is unseen. And we, as um, spiritual beings, also are beings that are unseen, but we have a physical identity because we live in this body this physical body. But as spiritual beings, we must learn to navigate the spirit realm and to be very skilled at it. And because it is necessary that we do so, this because it is our new identity, we are of Christ. We are in Christ. We are the children of God. Now that we have a new identity and have been born again, have become a new creature, as the Lord says, we must learn how to navigate this spirit realm that we live in so we can live skillfully as children of God. It is necessary for us to understand and to learn of the Lord because his teachings grow us up into the new being that we have become just like a child grows physically into a full grown adult and we as well we must learn how to grow up or to allow God to grow us up you know spiritually so we must learn skills. We must learn how to be skillful in identifying truths and realities that keep us free so that we can continue to experience God's best for us and as well to see the victories <laughs> that he has in store for us in everything. So it's crucial for us to deal with unseen forces. Trusting in God helps us to do that because we can't see our enemy. We cannot see the activities. We can feel them and it is necessary for us to understand that God has given us authority over all the powers of the devil. Luke 10, 19, Jesus said, I have given you authority to trample on every power of the devil. I've given you authority over it. So, and I'm kind of chopping up that uh, scripture but the Lord says he's given us authority and it's necessary for us to move forward in that power so that we can see how God is directing us and teaching us how to use the word of God, teaching us how to apply it and to not only address the negative powers, but to address the enemy that easily moves behind it. Because the sin activities of this world brought forth the destructive activities in this world. And so Satan is always behind them. God says, I have given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the works of the devil and nothing shall by any means harm you. That is what he said in Luke 10, 19. So taking that word and walking with the Lord who is constantly with us and helping us to identify how the enemy is working and how to dismantle him. He said, I've given you my name, use my name. So his name has all authority because he is sovereign. So we use his name 
The enemy knows who we are because of the blood, the blood of Jesus. He sees us as that new being, but he tries to trip us up because we live in this physical world and he wants us to use our senses. He wants us to use our rationale. Those are things that abide in, uh, in operating in the physical world. We can't use those because they have no attachment and validity in the spirit realm. We have to use our uh, spiritual uh, senses, which is you know, faith. And uh, when we are sensing negative things, we have to use the word of God, which is so necessary for us to learn. That is the reason why we must be in the word, because the word exposes the things that are in the darkness. And when I say in the darkness, they are in the spirit realm. So unless we walk in the spirit and we begin to identify things through our spirit man, they remain unknowledgeable and unidentified to us. So that is why we need to walk in the spirit, in this new man that's been created in Christ Jesus. And we can then be able to hear the Lord when he tells us what is going on, when the word of God begins to expose things because the word is light. So it enlightens us and we see what the enemy is doing. So it is necessary for us to walk in this new man so that we can constantly receive from the Lord direction, understanding, and revelation can come into our lives so that we can constantly live victorious over the enemy. One important thing that I want to share is that that keeps us from falling into condemnation and the devil using accusations to accuse us of things. It keeps us from getting caught up in him really bringing negative heart feelings to us and causing us to fall in our spirit and causing us to be vexed. And that shuts us down spiritually. So the enemy loves doing those things. God said, whatever you bind, in other words, whatever I give you the authority to shut down, you can shut it down. And whatever you loose, I give you the power to loose. He gives us the power to release his authority over everything that we deal with. And the devil must obey because he knows that we are of God and he must submit to the word of God or eventually his powers will get shut down by God's power as we keep releasing his power. So be encouraged today that we do not deal with flesh and blood. We deal with principalities, powers, rulers of this present darkness and spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places, according to Ephesians 6.10. And all these other things that we deal with, we have authority over them. God has given us authority. So Walk in the spirit, be confident in who you are in Christ and confident that God is with you and he will give you the insight necessary to live victorious and to obtain the clarity necessary to dismantle the works of the devil so that we can move forward to obtain all the blessings that he's given to us. Remember, if God be for you, who can be against you? Many blessings to you. My man, hit that like button. 
Also, if God is moving in your heart uh, to do so, and you feel that you can receive blessing from this channel and what the Lord is um, presenting here, please subscribe, all right? Because again, the Lord is for us and we are moving forward so that we can obtain everything that God has given to us in Christ, everything. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what area of life God has ordained blessing. He has ordained favor. He has ordained the most outrageous outcome for us. Hey, so stay in God's lane and keep moving forward. He is incredible. Again, God bless. Until next time. Hey, keep it moving.